My name yeah. is Bigfoot, so that's my first interview. I never done this before. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. I'm new guy here. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, I have some uh, questions that uh, guys gave me and some personal questions if you are interested for something oh, like this. Let's try that. <laughs> so, are you ready? <laughs> sure, why not? How are you spending these quarantine days? Uh, well, uh, we thought uh, that it would be like a vacation, you know, yeah. so staying home, doing nothing and so on, but uh, no, uh, it was pure work. So we were uh, working, and we are still working on our new songs for nice. our, our upcoming album, so we were doing different interviews and stuff, and of course we were preparing for the online Eurovision events. Wow, so our <laughs> yeah, so our quarantine is quite uh, quite loaded with uh, different stuff. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, I hear some songs and uh, I like it very much. Although I oh, appreciate it. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. I'm also an artist, but not music stuff. I create uh, custom sneakers and something oh, like this. Yeah, that's this interesting. Is, this is something new that I am working on. Oh, I'm not finished yet, but <laughs> uh, is is it a shark? I want to make like uh, old airplanes, army airplanes. Oh, yeah, it's like the Second World War. Yeah, 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 Spitfire plane or something like this. Cool. So, how would you describe yourselves? Uh, you mean as a band? Yeah. Well. Uh, interesting question. Uh, I think we can describe ourselves as a re representatives of Ukrainian culture and re Ukrainian uh, folk music. So uh, we are combining uh, Ukrainian folk music with modern electronic music. But uh, folk music comes first. So uh, actually, our aim to show the to show Europe and maybe, if it's possible, the whole world that uh, there is Ukraine. There is, and it has its own culture, its own language, and of course, its own music. What was your first reaction when you found out Eurovision was cancelled? <laughs> Sorry, I'm bad in English. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> well, actually, uh, personally, for me, I had actually I had no time to react uh, because uh, I work in a recording. Studio and uh, that day when the original was cancelled, I was like uh, recording artists, uh, and uh, there were uh, some messages coming to my phone, and I couldn't just uh, look at them because I was working. I, it was the recording process, you are busy, yeah. and yeah, I, w I was busy. And then after recording, I saw uh, okay. Uh, so first message: Your vision is cancelled for this year. Next message: uh, Gaway will be the Ukrainian and Ukrainian entry for Eurovision 2021. So okay, <laughs> for, of course it's a little bit sad because uh, we aimed for this year, and of course uh, we need to write a new song for the next year. So our uh, song for this year, Solove, is like uh, won't be on the contest. So of course it, it it's presented on on online Eurovision, but still it's not a constant style uh, Eurovision. Uh, but uh, I think uh, I think we'll have the opportunity to do something different and something interesting for the next year. So so we actually we are weren't really really sad about it. So we can expect you next year on uh, Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah, so uh, as far as I know, uh, every country uh, decides for themselves whether uh, this year's participant uh, will participate next year or uh, they will uh, do another national selection. So, and in Ukraine, uh, they've decided that uh, we will uh, present Ukraine in next year. Well, nice. Good to know. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah good for us. <laughs> 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 yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love you guys. I love it. I love it very much. And my friend also loved the style from your music and everything. Uh, can we buy your album on internet or maybe in store? Where can we buy your album? 
Oh well, it is on uh, almost every digital store like uh, iTunes or you know some yeah. streaming services like Spotify. I, I'm old school. I love the CD, you know. <laughs> well, uh, this, no, you know nowadays, uh, uh, not many people listen to whole albums. So, like you can go to Apple Music and listen just to one song from the album. But uh, I'm a little bit old school too, actually. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm 38 years old, and uh, I remember the time when we listened to the music on cassette, uh, CD, uh, on tapes, uh, cassette tapes, and uh, of course CDs then. Uh, and of course, it's better to hold CD with the cover and yeah. cover art and some information. And have it in your own arms, yeah. It's yeah. better feeling, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, what is Solo Way? Did I say it right? Solo Way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is uh, Solo Way about? Can you uh, explain me a little bit? Yeah, sure. So, first of all, Solo Way stands for Nightingale in English. So it's a bird. Like, and uh, you know, the history of making the song is uh, uh, quite simple. So, first of all, we took uh, Ukrainian folk song as a start. And okay. uh, we made the music to it, uh, but then we found out that according to, to Eurovision rules, we cannot use a folk song. So our vocalist Kate, uh, she rewrote the lyrics, she wrote her own lyrics, and she changed the uh, the meaning of them. So uh, in our song Solove, uh, our song Solove is about uh, a strong woman, like a, a girl who is not uh, who falls in love. Uh, with the wrong guy. Oh. Uh, so at certain times she understands that she's not taken seriously yet, but still uh, she holds on to her dignity and uh, she, uh, she, 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 she she just does what she wants to do. And Woman uh, these days, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, because in the old Ukrainian folk songs, uh, usually uh, women are like very sad, uh, something wrong, uh, always is something wrong, some uh, just uh, unshared love or with the wrong guy or something. And we wanted to do something uh, better. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, the girl shouldn't be sad, she shouldn't cry, she should she should be, be strong. strong. Yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah. So like a like a I, power girl or Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not so much. <laughs> yeah, but uh, still. <laughs> a, a little joke, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, how would the staging and performance look like in uh, Rotterdam? Look like. Uh, in Rotterdam. Actually, uh, when uh, so we were in, uh, in the process of making our staging and graphics when we found out that uh, original was cancelled. So. Uh, uh, we haven't done uh, all the staging uh, for Rotterdam, I mean. Uh, but still, uh, we thought that uh, we shouldn't do like uh, totally different staging from the one on uh, Ukrainian national selection. So uh, we, we found it uh, very interesting and we thought that we'll probably will stick to it, just make, make some you know, minor changes. Well. But uh, we'll change the graphics and, and uh, maybe uh, our images. Appreciate I mean, our costumes. Appreciate it. So, next question: Can we expect some new songs soon? Uh, soon? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, actually, we have several songs uh, that we played on our concerts uh, last year. Just several concerts. Uh, well, actually, uh, we do this thing uh, when we write a new song before releasing it. We are. Uh, we played at one or two gigs, and we see the reaction of people, whether they like it or not. Uh, so we have a few, uh, well, not few, just two unreleased songs, uh, songs that we are not released uh, yet. Uh, but we want to make uh, a video on them, so and uh, release a video. Uh, and I think. Uh, well, if everything is okay and uh, the quarantine stops, maybe we'll start shooting those videos in early June. So I think uh, you'll be hearing something in summer. Oh. Uh, still, uh, actually, uh, we don't want to release something something new from us right now because 
we need to do so uh, do a song for the next Eurovision. And we had that idea, this idea that, uh, well, on our national selection, people voted not only for the band for us, but for the song. And we thought that next year uh, people should have a chance to vote again. So we thought it would be a good idea to write several songs, like four or five, and let people decide uh, which one of them will be our song for the next that Eurovision. That was a good idea. That was a good idea. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, that uh, those songs, uh, according to Eurovision rules, uh, those songs should be released not earlier than September. So we have to wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will wait. I will wait. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So what is your favorite live performance? Do you remember your favorite uh, live performance? Uh, you mean from Eurovision or uh, uh, any? Any, any. Your favorite live performance in your My career? My favorite live performance. Oh, you mean our bands? Yeah. Ah, sorry, I didn't <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Understand. <laughs> well, our favorite live performance. Well, you know, I think I do. I think I do. It was like on uh, approximate no, not approximately. It was four years ago in 2016. Uh, we were at this festival called Halodny Yar uh, in uh, Ukraine, uh, near the city of Cherkasy. And uh, when we uh, we didn't know what the festival, is, what, what is this festival, uh, we we got invited, but we didn't do the research. So we just went there, and it was like. Uh, in a forest near a small village, and we, uh, when we were going there, we thought like, okay, where are we going? This is like, you know, <laughs> uh, this is forest. Who will go here? Who will come here to see us? And then uh, uh, we we were like the, I think the third band or the fourth, I don't remember exactly. Uh, when we got on stage, we saw that it's like uh, six or seven thousand people near the stage. Uh, well, we, we found out later about uh, the exact number, but uh, it was uh, abs absolutely unexpected. And uh, for them, it was like uh, partially a metal festival. <laughs> and for the people, it was absolutely unexpected to hear such music like, uh, like ours. Uh, but still, uh, so they liked us very much, and uh, uh, we... Uh, we were singing the last song, and after the last song, they they wanted an encore. So they wanted to sing uh, to sing some more songs, to hear some more songs from us. And uh, we started uh, to say, started to play uh, last song that we played again. And uh, the second time we played the song, people sang with us. So they already knew the lyrics. <laughs> they I learned it somehow. I don't know how. I appreciate your How? music, but they did, and it was. <laughs> I appreciate your music because you need to be brave to do something different, and you do something different. I appreciate that because well, uh, today artists, every, everyone is same. Everyone sa use the same uh, style. Everyone because there is Post Malone in America. Everyone wants to be like Post Malone. Then come to Weekend. Everyone wants to be like Weekend. You know, you do something different, and I like it. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. I understand exactly what you mean, actually. Yeah. But uh, you know, still, uh, for uh, so our band exists for seven years. So, we, uh, and uh, for seven years we were like in musical underground. We had no manager, no uh, <laughs> PR agent or something. Uh, so we were on our own. And uh, for a long period of time, we were like. Uh, too soft for rock festivals, uh, too folk style for electronic festivals, you know, too electronic for folk festivals. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I, I uh, and uh, it was uh, pretty hard to find a place to play. And uh, it was like a pure enthusiasm for us uh, for a long period of time. I respect so, that. I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, but we've decided uh, we want to be ourselves. We want to do the mu the kind of music we like, and we want to show our ideas to the pub uh, to the public to the people uh, near the stage, not just some ideas from other people. Yeah. So co copies of somebody's music. We want to do our own. Be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
What is your favorite uh, Eurovision song? Well, I have a few of them, but if uh, to pick one, I think it should be Euphoria from L Lorin. Oh. It was a winner of 2012. Uh, what do you think about uh, Iceland this year? This year? Yeah. Uh, well, it's an, it's an interesting, but uh, for me, for my musical taste, uh, I like uh, uh, pre pre previous years uh, Iceland uh, entry more, uh, the band named Hattery. Oh. It's quite yeah. interesting. Quite in, uh, quite, uh, quite interesting musical parts for me, and well, actually, uh, just uh, several years ago, I watched uh, Iceland landscapes on YouTube. It was like another planet. Yeah. It looked like another planet, and I thought, okay, if I would uh, live there in Iceland and uh, see those landscapes every day, I think I would write just that kind of music too. <laughs> Which country from this year contest would you give your 12 points? Which one your favorite? That's the same question, actually. <laughs> uh, well, a difficult question, actually, because uh, we like several, several entries. Uh, for me, well, uh, our, our vocalist Kate, uh, she likes a uh, song from Switzerland. Okay. Uh, from, uh, Bjorn, from, from Bjorn, uh, and uh, for, for me, I think it will be Lithuania, the Rube. Oh. The Son of the Fire is quite an interesting one. <laughs> you have a nice taste, you have a nice taste. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank so, you very much. and some few of my personal questions that I want to ask you, so personally. Sure, sure. Where do you find inspiration for your songs? Mmm. You know, <laughs> I I think uh, I know that it will sound like a cliche, but still, I think everywhere. First of all, uh, I listen to a lot of different music, absolutely different music. Uh, for example, for example, just just for example, I can uh, you know today I can listen to Sting, and tomorrow I can listen to Cannibal Corpse, oh. and it's normal, <laughs> and it's normal. For me, uh, and I get uh, I get a lot of inspiration from uh, different music I listen to. But I think best ideas, coolest ideas, come to me while traveling to new places. Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, actually, the idea of starting a band uh, which will include uh, Ukrainian folk music uh, came to me when I w when I was in India. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> but you are really bringing it to the next level, you know. I never heard uh, Ukrainian folk music, but uh, when I hear your song, then I heard some other Ukrainian folk music because of you, because you do something uh, something different than others, and I liked it. I like it. I, I really like it. Well, you know, uh, actually, uh, it's like uh, in our band. It, in our band, it was always about the teamwork. So uh, I bring the electronic parts. Uh, of music, uh, our vocalist Kate brings folk parts because uh, uh, she studied uh, Ukrainian folklore at the university, uh, so and she uh, learned it uh, like very deep, at very deep levels, uh, and uh, just we combine everything because if uh, I was uh, writing some folk stuff. I don't think uh, I would come up with something interesting because uh, when I started uh, Gawai, I didn't know folk as well as Kate knew. So uh, right now it's like slight, uh, slightly different for me, so I know it better. I am interested in folk music, I listen to folk music. Uh, but uh, from the beginning it was Kate who brought the folk thing to Gawai. Okay, thank you for that. Information. <laughs> so, what was the meaning behind Goa? Goa or Go A? Uh, go A. Go A. Go A. Go A. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, I wanted uh, to make the name of the band uh, so that everybody could put their own meaning into it. Uh, I mean, uh, the name of the band Go A uh, consists of the word, the English word Go, like movement. Yeah. And uh, ancient Latin letter alpha, uh, which stands 
uh, for the, the beginnings beginning. of yeah. everything. So, yeah, like uh, roots, cultural roots, home, even God for somebody. So, like, for us, the meaning of the, the name of the band Go A is like, like going back to our cultural roots. But for somebody, it, it can mean, it's, can mean uh, the way home or the way to God or something else. So every person can put its own, his own meaning into it. Do you have any role models and who are they? <laughs> what do you mean role models? Uh, role models, like uh, your favorite artist and oh. uh, not, uh, not only in your music, but in a mu movie industry and uh, everything, artists, you know. Do you have any favorite artist that uh, you want to be like them, you know? Everyone as a kid have a role model. You see oh. someone on television, you want to be like them, you know. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, well, when I for, was... For some people, you are a role model, you know? Mm, I, I don't think that's the best role model for now. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll never know. Well, of course, uh, when, I, when I was like uh, 10 or 11 year, years old, my dream was... Uh, my dream was to play uh, in Queen band. Uh, of course, I, at that time I didn't know that uh, Freddie Mercury was dead and uh, the band broke up. But still, it was my favorite band uh, at that time, and it was just—it was That's like my dream to play their songs with them. Yeah. Uh, right now, uh, actually, it's very, very difficult to pick one, uh, one person. You can you can have five if you want or two. Uh, well, let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, well, actually, uh, this guy, well, actually, this guy is not very popular in Ukraine for sure, but in uh, the rest of the world, I think uh, many, many people know him. Uh, it's a mu he's a musician from Canada. Uh, his name is Devin Townsend. Okay. Uh, so uh, he, uh, it's very difficult to describe the music that he makes. It's like uh, for me, for me, it was like uh, if Pink Floyd played metal. <laughs> you know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. So yeah, it's uh, you know very meaningful, very atmospheric, and uh, it's like uh, I wanted like I. I envy him a lot because I wanted to write all those songs, but he did. <laughs> so, so you like uh, Pink Floyd also? Yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan of Pink Floyd. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, yeah, and uh, from uh, if uh, regarding artists uh, and painters, uh, uh, my favorite painter, maybe a role model, is uh, Alex Gray. It's an American painter. Uh, uh, he paints uh, like in visionary style. It's uh, like uh, anatomic and uh, something not occult, but uh, maybe religious. Some com combination with uh, religion and anatomy and some philosophy. That's nice. So I need to very... check it out. I need to check it out. It's, uh, you know, uh, when, when you see his paintings, uh, you cannot just see, uh, look at them as like, oh, okay. So you either love them or hate them. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Uh, can you me? Can you send me uh, later his name on uh, Skype sure. that I can sure. uh, check it out? Of course. I of want course. to check it out. So my last question, my personal last question, is who started the band? Um, guilty. <laughs> guilty as charged. It was me. It was me. Uh, so. Like I said, uh, when I was, well, it, actually, it was a very interesting story. Uh, when I was in India in, uh, 20, uh, in 2011, uh, I was at that, uh, you know, uh, I just uh, I came to some performance. Uh, it was like a stage and a uh, performance uh, like uh, about... Uh, I don't know about meaning of life and everything. There were actors, so it's like uh, it wasn't like a professional performance. Just uh, actors, musicians, and some other guys just from the 
I think from every part of the world, they just gathered and thought maybe we'll come up with something interesting, just for fun. Right. Uh, so, and uh, there I was, uh, 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 just looking at uh, all this performance, it was late night, the moonshine, it was uh, uh, like outside, not in uh, some building. And, and uh, there was a singer, uh, she was like uh, not singing like some words, just a vocal melody, like a soundtrack. And at certain point, uh, just uh, all lights go uh, went off, and the girl started to sing a Ukrainian folk song in India. And you said, "I wanted to do it," or uh, I was like, <laughs> I was shocked. I was shocked, totally shocked. I didn't expect expected that at all. Uh, so, and I thought like, this is a sign for me. I think I should do something with Ukrainian folk music. And uh, at that time I played in metal band. <laughs> I was a guitar player at, at uh, metal band. In, well, what in, was the name of uh, metal band? Can I uh, well, actually the same uh, name as my Skype ID. <laughs> it was <laughs> from Mars. <laughs> what? I, I saw the Skype ID and I... That wasn't real. That isn't real. <laughs> that can't be real. <laughs> it was like yeah. a, like a joke. I am Bigfoot uh, because, uh, you know... I think... That's enough. <laughs> I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah. you, do, you don't need to say anything, <laughs> just coming. <laughs> yeah, so, and uh, that was the idea. I thought it would be great to do something with... Uh, with uh, Ukrainian folk music, and at uh, that time I listened to a lot of Go Trance, uh, and I thought maybe I can combine electronic music with Ukrainian folklore. And then when I uh, came to back to Ukraine, I started searching for musicians, for singers, and actually it was very difficult to explain what I want to do because nobody nobody understood. Like uh, so, they, everybody looked at me is like. Uh, you know, Ukrainian folk music, electronic music, combining, what, what do you want to do? How? Why? <laughs> so nobody understood what I want to do, so it was quite difficult to find uh, musicians. Then uh, I find uh, Kate, Kate, our vocalist, we wrote, we did one song just as an experiment. Uh, and it we works, thought it, and it works. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I appreciate that, I appreciate that. You have a nice style. You are really a nice guy. I don't need to say you are a really nice guy. <laughs> I I thought it would it will be harder to do an interview with you, but uh, you are a really nice person. Thank you. I appreciate you. your music. Thank and, you very much. Uh, what is the message for your fans? Well, <laughs> uh, personally, for me, uh, actually, I cannot wait to meet all the fans in on Eurovision 2021 but of course uh, I think the main thing for every person every person in the whole world is to love his culture so love your culture appreciate your culture because every every nation every nation's culture is unique yeah and uh, yeah, you should just it. like that I hope you I will I will have a chance to see you in person I hope you I hope so. It will be great. It yeah. will be great. <laughs> if if it will be possible someday to come to Croatia and of course to Germany with concerts, it will be like dream come true because we want uh, we want the whole world to you know. You never to, know. You listen. never know. Yeah. Keep yeah. working. Keep working. <laughs> we will. So thank you very much. It was Thank a you. good time with you, and uh, have a nice, have a nice night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Sleep tight. Thank and you. Thank you very much. Hope see you soon. Sure.